I watched every single episode of Skibbity Toilet. It's something I never thought I'd say. But let me tell you, I'm glad I did. First, I just thought it was another random Gmod thing, which often pops up. It's not a new thing. I heard about it online a couple of times, and I didn't really think much about it. But then I saw it in my recommended, so I figured I'd give it a shot. What I noticed right away was seasons in the title, and I was like, wait, there's seasons in this? Seemed like just a bunch of randomness. I didn't think there would actually be a plot and a storyline for it. Now, the channel that produces Skibbity Toilet is called The boom and has amassed over 20 million subscribers over the summer. Every single Skibbity Toilet also makes about 20 million views every single day. Those numbers are actually insane for just starting off as a Gmod shitpost. I mean, this guy and his team are probably making millions every day. Now, I was not expecting it to be as big as it was, so it kind of caught me off guard. Feel like it with it being this big, someone in my real life would have already mentioned Skibbity Toilet to me before. But of everybody I've asked, nobody has known what it is yet. So it's kind of weird that it's coming out is this silent popular show it's really popular but it's mainly a zoomer thing and since then i've watched all the episodes three times over i figured i'd start this off with sharing my theory since everybody's sharing their theories and conspiracies about the whole thing now in episode three you can clearly see there's humans in this universe but later are replaced with cameramen i feel as if the only humans who survived the skibbity toilet outbreak are billionaires who are using their ai robots and advanced technology to create these cameramen as a drone to be discarded so that they don't have to put their flesh bodies against the bloodthirsty toilets. Again, a sentence I thought I'd never say. The reason that these people have cameras for heads is so that the humans can see what the toilets are up to so that way they can prepare the technology in advance. The cameramen are just technology, therefore they have to be programmed to get rid of toilets. The same thing that toilets are programmed to do to get rid of humans. I don't know about you, but I get strong Attack on Titan vibes from this series. TV men share similar traits to humans who can turn into titans and defend the rest of humanity. You need to think and be programmed like a monster to defeat monsters. The cameramen only serve as eyes for the humans underground so that way they can see what the skibbity toilets are up to and know where to send the TVs at that actually destroys them. In skibbity toilet number 43, the toilets start wearing sunglasses to prevent the rays from the TV from blinding them. It's safe to say the skibbity toilets might have a human overlord as well that's also helping them with this technology because, you know, toilets don't have arms. How are they going to make all that technology? Humans would also know that sunglasses can stop TV rays. I mean, this toilet is is literally shooting fire out of its mouth. You can't tell me that that didn't have some sort of human intervention. There's also police toilets in this world as well, so therefore you have to guess that there's somebody intelligent enough to create a society with these toilets, because obviously the toilets aren't intelligent enough. All they're programmed to do is say skibbity bop yes yes. Another scene that kind of stuck with me was when the skibbity toilet was being investigated, as if the skibbity toilets and the cameramen can communicate in some sort of way, which makes sense as if they're all AI, because if they're all AI, then skibbity bop yes yes has to be some sort of technology code which is why the robot cameramen can understand them because they're just speaking in programs i mean it really makes sense when you think about it they're using drones to create more drones to defeat the skibbity toilets see what i'm saying it has to be programmed by some other intelligent being being the humans we saw before i mean look at this guy he's wearing a suit he's gotta be rich that's probably jeff bezos man come on and there's other moments like this where the skibbity toilets are kind of circled around each other as if the giant skibbity toilet is preaching to the other ones. There's also other religious ties to the skibbity toilets as this one is in church. Therefore, skibbity toilets are worshipping, which is a human trait. Humans, as we know of, are the only species that worships a god. So why would skibbity toilets, non-sentient beings, suddenly begin worshipping? Because, I mean, they don't seem sentient anyways. They're kind of just programmed to take out humans and cameramen. But anyways, that's my theory. I think the whole thing is secretly being run by humans. And skibbity toilets and cameramen are kind of being programmed to fight this war amongst humans. It's kind of like a dystopian future kind of thing, but still there's a lot to think about. There's probably some things that I missed. I know everybody has their own theory and everything, but that's just my opinion on it. But now that I'm over with my theory, let's go ahead and get to my favorite characters, favorite moments, and maybe even some plot holes. Now, one of my favorites on the technology side is obviously the giant TV man. You know, he's a fan favorite. Provides a good AOE stun. Now, I damn near cried when he got stabbed in the- Oh my, no, don't do it to him. Oh my lord. Now, another character on the cameraman side is the main TV person right here. Seems to be the boss of the TVs. It's obviously way different than the other TVs as well because it has special power so I'm assuming it's the leader anyways. It also seems to have intelligence unlike the TV Titan who's just programmed to fight the skibbity toilets. Also just love when she makes this face right here. It's the exact same face I make when you don't subscribe to the channel. It's a brand new character so I'm assuming we're gonna see more of it in upcoming episodes so I'm really hyped for that. 
Yeah. For the toilet side of the equation, obviously the giant toilet with laser eyes is really cool as well. And as we saw earlier, he was preaching to all the other toilets as well. So it's obviously he's very respected in the toilet community. Obviously, we can't forget about the giant speaker man as well, who started off on the cameraman side, but then was corrupted by toilets in his brain. Toilets living rent free in his mind. And I don't want to hear nothing about spoilers. It takes 30 minutes to watch all the episodes. So speaker man is really cool. Laser eyes is pretty cool. But what I really want to talk about is the speedy toilet, because this scene... <laughs> is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I don't know why, but I thought this scene was so cool. Just the toilet zooming right at your head and just knocking your camera off, ending your existence. There's something about it that's just so terrifying, the fact that it goes that fast. It also probably ties into the fact that I was just not expecting that at all, like a speedy toilet, because they usually they just make a weird face and then you're done. So I guess I wasn't expecting it to just straight up fly at you at a million miles an hour and just knock your whole dome off. So I guess it really just ties in as being one of my favorite characters and my favorite moments. Speaking of favorite moments, I love when this toilet spits fire on the robot only for the robot to just disintegrate his whole face in an instant. I don't know why, I always just thought that was funny. Also, when TV Man gets stabbed in the screen, that was also a really good moment. It was sad, but being sad made it good. Also, when the cameramen figure out how to get the toilets out of people's brains and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the big toilet with laser eyes and the speaker man come busting through the roof, tosses him the laser gun and you can't forget when we got to see the titan speaker man in first person you get to see firsthand the destruction he can cause especially because he was just recently introduced now I obviously like this series quite a bit but what are some plot holes that i'm still wondering about now obviously the series is still relatively new so there's a lot of things we still need answered so i guess this isn't really plot holes it's just things that i'm still waiting for now it's still unclear what the average skibbity toilet even does to you as far as we know all it really does is make a weird face and sing a song that I hate to admit has been stuck in my head for the last few days. I mean, at this point, the majority of Skibbity Toilets just use technology to kill people. But it seems right now the only thing that Skibbity Toilets are interested in is getting everybody to sing Skibbity Bop Yes Yes and pull cameramen's heads off every now and then. Another question I have is where is some of this other technology like this here toilet that sucks like a vacuum? It seems to be a very powerful Skibbity Toilet, but it's just defeated and then we never see another one like it. If it doesn't work one time do they just completely give up on it or the speedy toilet from earlier i mean if you made like a thousand of those things it would be so op if they got enough of them to throw at the tv titan they could honestly probably beat the tv titan but they haven't brought him back yet and he seems like one of the best ones it seems like they'd want to make a lot of the really good ones but for some reason they just don't but i understand why they do that is for like character and stuff like they want to add more characters instead of just using the same one over and over it's an understandable thing to do like i said there's more coming out for this so hey they could bring him back in the future who knows but yeah as it's looking right now the series has been really amazing i'm definitely looking forward to the next one the 18th season just ended so i'm imagining they're gonna start the 19th season pretty soon i mean it seems to be pretty financially profitable for the fuck boom but yeah i just wanted to share some thoughts on this series since a lot of people that i've talked to don't even really know who it is so hopefully i can inform some people i mean i definitely liked it it only takes 30 minutes to watch the whole series so it's pretty entertaining so if you have 30 minutes to spare i'd recommend it it's definitely not for everybody but i definitely enjoyed it there's a lot of different videos out there of different people sharing their theories on this series so thank you for choosing mine and thank you for tuning in till the end if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe would really help me out let me know if you want to see more videos like this i love you guys it's been jd blaze see ya